Hey guys, Simcolor here and today we are going to deal with an error that showed up in our forum where VTG uh, was actually uh, the one that pointed it out and the error log is here, you can go and check it out, I have the link down below and well, uh, this error happens because uh, the bundle that we are using to uh, move the image into a different activity at the moment of taking the, the, the picture which is, let me just get it right here uh, when we do this and we use these uh, put extras and things like that well, the problem is when the image de data is too big uh, the bundle then can't handle it and then the app just crashes and so we are going to deal with this and this is, was something that I knew could happen but I, I tested it around and I tried to get image, images with a lot of quality with my phone so that the image would be, would be big but I never got the app to crash but because uh, this error showed up I believe it is best for us to make it better now and because it is actually going to be good for us in the, the near future when because we'll need to use another activity and so it is better to use another uh, way instead of just passing ar around bundles uh, everywhere so the way we are going to deal with this is actually to store the image in, um, in a file in a folder uh, somewhere around in the phone where the, the image will, will be private so only uh, uh, we will be able to, to use it and yeah I believe that's the best way and this way we'll, we won't have any problems whatsoever with the bundle so yeah now what we have to do is just to move all of this uh, the bitmap, uh, the rotation uh, this uh, function right here and all of that into the camera fragments and we'll take care of everything that has to do with the bitmap and rotating the everything uh, in here so yeah let's just get on with it uh, and what we have to do is just to go down here get the bitmap rotate and we can cut that out and just paste it in here I'll make it sure it is there okay and yeah we can go back we'll leave the save to history because that's two stories that's what that's what we need but apart from that from that uh, we can simply get the bitmap that we have right here cut that out and paste it here okay now if we open that up we see that instead of b it is bytes so we can come in here and change that out also uh, make this a local variable because we we will we'll only use it here in order to save it to the um, to the file system okay and in here uh, things will be a bit different so I'm actually going to just take it out I'm going to remove this bundle and that's it just making sure everything is as it should be okay and I believe for now we won't mess with the show capture activity now back to the camera fragments, um, we are going to change some things around, the first of which is to remove the extra because we won't need it anymore and now we are going to simply save it to uh, a file in, the, in our system so I'm going to create a, a function for it, I'm going to call it public string uh, save image to storage bitmap bitmap because we must pass uh, this variable to this function okay and now we are going to choose the the, the name of the file uh, of the image so file name equals to and I'm going to call it image to send 
and uh, one thing you don't have to worry about uh, the user getting this image because you won't be able to this image won't appear in the gallery it will only appear in the um, to us in our file system it, it will be private so try and now we'll need to create a function of the type uh, a variable of the type byte array output stream bytes equals to new byte array output stream and now we simply compress the bitmap so bitmap dot compress and we are just uh, changing the bitmap into uh, a variable of the type bytes and we must do that because first of all we must do the rotation and things like that so yeah that's how we have to, to go about things compress format dot jpeg and in this I believe it is better to sa always save in the jpeg type because it occup occupies less space than png even though it has less quality but I'm not really worried about that at the moment so if you are going to publish this on the, the Play Store, then you might consider it. Then file output stream, file output or FO for uh, sort, uh, shortage, and now get context dot open file output, and this will save the the file. So file name, comma, context. dot mode private and this will ensure as I've said before that uh, no one other than us is able to get the image so yeah now simply f o dot write and uh, simply say bytes to array dot to byte array and f o dot close okay and now it is complaining about something and that's because uh, well i started to write the try but i didn't uh, finish it and said catch and this is just to ensure that if any errors are thrown then we are able to to handle them and to know what they are so simply say catch exception e and e dot print stack trace and we are going to say that the file name will be equal to no and in the, in the end we'll return the file name okay so that's it and yeah now all that's left is to call the make the call for this function right here so let's do it right now let's go up top in here and let's say string file location equals to and what's the name save image to storage and rotate bitmap in here and now we'll do a check to know if this, uh, the saving was su successful so if it was successful then we know that the file na name will be different from null if uh, and if it is different from null then we can go ahead and just create the intent so let's say file location different from null and just move the intent right in there okay so that's it now all that's left is, is to actually display the image in here so we must get the image from the, the storage and display it. So in here, I'm going to change the bitmap name to just bitmap. We don't need to have anything fancy. And now I'm going to get the, the, the bitmap from the, uh, the location that we have it in. So just as I, I was telling you about before. So bitmap factory dot decode stream 
we say get application dot open file input okay and now in the name we'll, we what we want to do is to get the name that we gave it here so that we can get exactly the same image okay just paste it there and it will complain because again in it wants a try and a catch uh, just in case something goes wrong so simply click alt enter enter and it will create it for you okay and you don't have to worry about uh, because we are using this exact same name over and over again and what will happen is that the image will overwrite and so if we already have an image there it will simply write on top of it and it will uh, erase the previous one so because we don't want to access in the local storage there's no problem with it now all that's left is to actually display the image right here and to change the name here to bitmap okay now all of this should be working just as well we don't need to worry about it and now all that's left is to display it and i actually forgot what the um, the image view name is so i'm going to go inside here going to so activity show capture and we can actually just click control and activity show capture and it will open that up for you and now we can see that it is called image captured so go back to the show capture activity say image view image better yet m image equals to find view by id or the r dot id dot image captured and if you have an older uh, android studio version you need to actually place the image view in here you know so don't forget about it because otherwise uh, errors will appear but with this version which which is the 3.0 point something uh, it doesn't matter um, you don't need to 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 use it so now simply say m image dot set image bitmap bitmap okay and that's it and i'm actually going to uh, say that if this fails if you we are not able to get the the image then it will finish and that way we'll uh, ensure that no errors will happen so yeah let's just test the app and see uh, how it turns out so the app finished loading here we are let's just take the picture okay it showed up so everything is fine uh, until now let's save it to stories and here we are it appears right here and yeah that's good so it is working just as it should be so yeah uh, i mean i'm actually glad that we did this because now this is the right way to do it not with the bundle I just figured we could uh, go away with it, but now the code looks better. We are doing doing things where they are they should be done. So yeah, everything that's to do with the taking the picture is right here, and okay, it looks nice. Uh, it looks good enough. So uh, yeah, in the next lesson, as I had previously uh, intended to, we are going to create an activity which will display all of the users that we are following and all of the users that we can send the picture to directly. And we'll start working on that. That's the final big thing that we must do. And then we can move on to the camera and actually do filters and things like that um, in the near future. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao.